Okay, finally. I'm so sorry, dear students. Oh, I don't know what happened with this camera. Please, just, just give a minute. Okay, this is... This one. Okay, I'm sorry. So, I'm facing some problem with the camera. Okay, I think it's done. Okay, whatever. I'm sorry. Good. Okay, dear students, I'm so sorry. I think it's time to start. I don't know. I'm facing some problem with my camera. I'm trying to fix this one. I have two cameras, actually. This is the camera number one. And this one is the camera. Okay, this is the camera number two. I'm sorry. But for some reason, I can, I can work properly. Something is happening. Whatever. No problem. Okay. Um, listen, please. Yesterday, I talked to you about the attendance. I came across that some students have the problem with to complete the attendance. So yesterday, oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't yesterday. Today, too bad. I found. Let me see. Okay, let me share my screen. This one, I think it's this one. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Oh, oh no, yesterday I have already talked to you. I'm sorry. Creo que ayer yo ya hablé con ustedes sobre esto de aquí. Yes, I have already talked to you about this one, no problem. Okay? Más tarde, estimados estudiantes, a partir de las 10 de la noche, no importa. Quiero que voy a compartir el, el documento, me olvidé ayer de hacerlo. Ok, este es de la tarde, creo que sí, ¿verdad? Yo ya hablé a ustedes con esto. <coughs> Lamentablemente deberíamos tener, sí, deberíamos tener con este grupo. Tenemos unas un mes. Son cuatro veces al, a la semana, entonces el mes trae cuatro semanas. Ok, so we have four times four. Curat. So, sixteen. Ok, adicional a eso, también me estaba olvidando. Creo que con este curso al inicio, como veo registrado aquí seis y media. Ok, give a minute. Sí, seis y media. Creo que tuvimos una semana y media, iniciamos el módulo como seis y treinta, como veo aquí. Bueno, eso es debido porque me encontraba todavía realizando la maestría y me demoré un poco en eso. Ok, that's correct. Yo espero que en este módulo de aquí no me encuentre con lo que se denomina la viveza criolla. Les comento que hay en otros módulos, espero que no sea aquí. Me falta todavía. Lo que sucede es, como usted observa, tengo tres columnas. El link que yo les comparto, pues, trae para ustedes que registren la fecha y a la vez el ahora. Pero no sé. Como les digo, a veces hay la viveza criolla de... Con el link marcan algunas veces. Y a veces se ponen, pues, las fechas que... No deberían ponerse. Lo que no, lo, lo que no saben que es que aquí 
el programa o, o, el, o el formulario, pues, como les mencioné, creo que ayer aquí, yo estoy un poco loco, disculpe, es que me da a mí la hora exacta de cuándo usted ingresó. Me imagino que le envía la fecha que, que ingresa el... el, el sí, la, la, exacto. Lamentablemente, pues, parece como... No es este curso, es otro que han cogido el link. Y como se puede modificar las fechas, ¿verdad? Entonces han modificado las fechas, han regresado hacia atrás, pero... Como usted observa, pues aquí el programa también me da aparte la fecha que debería de coincidir. Como usted ve, la columna de date con el timestamp. Debería coincidir, como están aquí. Sí coinciden. Al menos aquí sí coinciden. Ok. Entonces espero que no sea el caso aquí. Esperemos que no sea el caso, todavía me falta, esto lo he dejado al último porque, wow, muchos estudiantes, too many students, but no problem. Recuerde que ya estamos a dos, dos semanas de concluir el módulo, entonces ya estoy sacando esto. Lo que yo sí le pido, como les dije el día de ayer, que sea consecuente con usted mismo. Si usted sabe que en verdad todavía no ha ingresado, o ha faltado, perdón voy a, y voy a compartir el formato para que usted realice eso intente conseguir los soportes para justificar sus faltas como mencioné hace un momento pues tenemos un mes el mes tiene si es que no me equivoco cuatro semanas ¿verdad? estamos bien ¿verdad? ok, cuatro, cuatro semanas y por semana solo tenemos cuatro veces, cuatro clases, ¿verdad? Entonces estamos hablando de cuánto más o menos, lo que sabe matemáticas, cuatro por... Cuatro por cuatro. Uh -huh. Correct. Este, pero los días que ha sido feriado y no hemos tenido, hubo un feriado también. Exactamente, más la semana que ya llevamos de mayo. Sí, Entonces, por, ejemplo, por eso. Usted ayer revisó el mío y yo tenía 19 asistencias, yo no faltaba ninguna. No, no, está bien. Sí. Todas. Entonces, me imagino que debe de haber 19 asistencias. Hasta ayer, pues, hoy día 20. Exactamente, correcto. Solo es que, como vuelvo y repito, hace un momento, el, hoy, hoy por la tarde, pues estaba revisando los otros cursos pues, y me topé con esta novedad. No me había topado nunca con esto. Es raro. Comúnmente siempre ponía el buscador, pues, y encontraba rápidamente lo que es las asistencias. Pero, wow. Espero que no sea el caso aquí. Ok, ya voy a compartir la, la, el link de asistencia de aquí. Sí, lamentable, oiga, muy, como digo, la ley del, del sabido. Pero bueno, esperemos que no sea el caso aquí. Mister, yo anoche le mandé el correo a mis dos faltas que tuve. ¿Por qué fueron las dos faltas que tuve? Sí, ya he revisado eso también. Ajá. Ok, that's the link. Bueno, topé este tema el día de ayer porque ya estamos a dos semanas. Entonces, ya para que vayan con tiempo, pues, generando los soportes para sus faltas ok, I think that's it it's over sí, yes, Entonces, tell me el examen. el examen final está programado a ver, dame un momento está programado para el jueves 26 lo que indica que clases, clases estamos terminando el martes 24 el 25 pues le estaré compartiendo el, el formato con el que vayamos a trabajar el, el examen final, que obviamente va a ser en, lo que, en, la, en la plataforma de Moodle. Pero está el 26, que es el jueves 26 de este mes. Estamos a dos semanas todavía. Claro, es escrito. El examen final va a ser escrito, pero... En plataforma, lo cual va a incluir uh, las características de estos, 
estos exámenes que hemos realizado últimamente de lo que es listening, de las tres imágenes, vos va a encontrar. Obviamente, antes de llegar ahí, va a haber otra prueba de speaking. Hoy vamos a ver algo que nos va a ayudar muchísimo en esa prueba de speaking. Creo que la tengo programada para el, la próxima semana. Esta semana no hubo nada. Okay. Sí, la que viene va a ser speaking y vamos a trabajar con imágenes. Ok, I think it's time to start. Please give a minute. There you go. Remember, from now on, as I said, we need to practice listening, speaking, but it's obviously all the activities. They have something important, in quotation mark, in the background. Okay? For example, yesterday and the day before yesterday, we practiced using grammar but in a speaking activity you guys practice with me the preposition remember that we practice with a photo and then yesterday once again we practice the preposition but in listening activity so today we are going something new i mean speaking activity but this speaking activity has <clears throat> i'm sorry in the background in quotation mark structure or grammar that you will need for the um the speaking tests or the speaking quiz for the next week okay this is a very popular game that you probably played when you uh, when you were in the primary school or in the high school this is called truth or there in other words that's the same game did you play in spanish remember verdad o desafío truth o de in other words you will find some question obviously some uh, some activities that you have to uh, carry it out here online you have to turn on You camera in case this game asks you. Okay, so is is gonna be pretty pretty good for you. Well, as you can see, we have 24 questions or 24 activities. I'm going to pick up 24 students. It's gonna be very difficult to play with 24 students. You are too many students. Before starting, please remember, antes de iniciar, por favor, esta actividad tiene en sí un trasfondo, entre comillas. En el background vamos a trabajar estructuras que usted las va a necesitar para la prueba de speaking. Ok, here we go. This is pretty easy to understand. Only you have to do is choose and number depending on the number you will see a question or a statement to do something okay remember i need your participation pretty pretty important let's begin let me see a good volunteer for this oh by the way any volunteer to start this activity Remember, this, this activity is not graded. Anyone? 
No one. Okay, perfect. Jesus Christ. Okay. Melanie Silva, can you hear me? Good evening. Yeah, mister. Okay. Este juego, Melanie, quizás alguna vez lo jugaste, que es verdad o desafío. Have you ever played this game? Yes. <laughs> yeah, correct. Remember, this is a question and sometimes you have to perform or carry out an activity. Melanie, please. I want you to pick a number from the number one to the number 24. One. One, okay. Here we go, Melanie. And this is the question. Okay. Please, read the question for me. What do you avoid You think say la mean? Right. Okay, no problem. Easy, easy. As you can see, dear students, you have a word in red. Okay? Avoid. Avoid. Avoid means evitar. Avoid. So, Melanie, I need you to think or prepare you answer for this question. Okay? For example, I would say, I avoid cleaning the house. Or you probably could say, I avoid learning something new for the exam. Or, I avoid studying at the last minute. Okay, you try, Melanie. 10 seconds. La pregunta dice que evitas hacer siempre hasta el minuto, hasta el último minuto. Correct. I boy coming home home or life. Okay. Okay, that, that's correct, but don't translate it. Can you repeat now, Melanie, please? I avoid coming home or life. Okay, that's good. Excellent. The point in here is we use avoid with a verb. And the verb, we need to use the ing form. Okay? okay. Avoid and another verb with the ing form. You see? Entonces, por favor, vayan apuntando. Este es el primer verbo que vamos a utilizar. Avoid, que significa evitar. La estructura de este verbo, avoid... Si trabajamos con otro verbo que ejecute acción, tiene que ir con el ING. ¿Ok? Evito llegar tarde a casa. ¿Cómo es eso, Melanie? ¿Evito llegar tarde a casa? It's a boy. Doy. A ver. It's a boy. Homer lay. Y yo evito llegar tarde a casa. Eso ok. Es But don't forget. El verbo, en este caso es regresar, tenemos que aumentarle el ING. I avoid coming back home late. Avoid coming, the ING form, okay? Let's continue. Thank you. Please, another volunteer. Click on, just as a volunteer, I just need to practice with me. Tamara Briones, Tamara Briones, please. Give me a number. Uh, uh, two. Number two. Okay, number two. Remember que puede ser verdad o desafío. Okay, truth of that. Here we go. Number two. Oh, this is a dare. And this is very easy. Could you please, Tamara, read this for me? Uh, T -A 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 -R -A. Okay, stop, stop. Please read. First, ah, read. Read. Uh, there. Spill your pride and uh, name. Okay. So your name is Tamara uh, Briones. Okay. Spell. Uh, Tamara. Uh, T A N A R A. Okay. Uh, Briones. Uh, B R A O N E S. Okay. Bring it on. Wow. Thank you. Did you see? It's not difficult. 
Please, another volunteer. Come on. Come on, please. I need to practice with you. Castro Silva. Hello there. Hello, mister. Okay, please. Pick one number. Another one, obviously. Uh, ten. Number ten. Okay, number ten is... Oh, this is a question. Please, read, read. Is there anything specific you would like to learn? What is it? Good, right. Okay. So please, everybody take your pencil and start writing the another instructor. Would like. Would like to. Okay? So for example, you would say, Miss Ginger, is there anything specific you would like to learn? What is it? You have 10 seconds. Prepare your answer. Five seconds. Okay. Come on, Ginger. Answer. <clears throat> uh, I would like to learn to uh, play the guitar. <clears throat> what is it? That, that, that's correct for me. The answer was answered correctly, but what is it? It's the guitar. Excellent. Thank you, Ginger. Ahora, por favor, la siguiente estructura es would like. Esta estructura de aquí la vamos a trabajar con infinitivo, tal como lo hizo Ginger. Perfecto. Would like to. I would like to learn. I would like to learn the guitar. Or you probably said I would like to learn dancing or I you'd like to go and so on that's perfect thank you ginger very easy right please another volunteer come on please practice no one okay I'm gonna pick up one student I can't believe it Okay, and the students will be Lady Zambrano. Lady, can you hear me? Sí, mister. Escucha. No se escucha, profe. Tiene apagado el audio. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm listening. Uh, number 17. Ok. 17. There, there. Ok, vamos a ver. Espero que sea desafío. There, there. Let me see. Ah, it's a question. Please, read the question. Please, read the question. Come on, lady, read the question. Really? Ah, oh, Jesus. So let's wait. Wait, wait. Be patient. Um, now, can you read it? No sé si sale mi internet, pero vamos a salir la pantalla con el Es internet, compañero, porque si sale la pregunta. Now, lady, can you read the question? No me sale la pregunta. Ok, Jesus Christ. No, no. Ok, now. This is another word, is the word like. Like. Okay, perfect. Read it, please. 
Uh, read the question, read the question, please. What do you, know you like watching on TV? Okay. Good. Correct, but don't translate it, okay? El punto aquí es no traducir, ok? Intenten no traducir. El punto aquí son las palabras que están con rojo. Ok? Like, in this question, we use with the ING. Ok? En otras palabras, su respuesta, lady, no se olvide. Con esta estructura, like, el verbo de acción, tendrá que ir con ING. Ok? Uh, for example, I like dancing, ING, or you say, I like listening to music, or I like cooking, but the question is different, it's a negative, but the pattern is the same. What don't you like watching TV, watching on TV? Lady, you have 10 seconds. Prepare your answer. I do not like watching or what? It's ING. Go on, speak, speak. Watching programs. Okay, repeat again. I I'm do sorry. Not like, I do not like watching programs. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, let, let, let me stop for a while. I don't know what's going on with you, dear students. Remember, these kinds of activity are designed. I prepare myself this activity for you to practice, but please try to speak a little bit more, okay? Lady, your answer was correct, but it's too short. So you say, I don't like watching, uh, I don't uh, I don't remember, but she said, I don't like watching a uh, series on TV. The answer is correct, but it's too short, okay? Try to stretch your answer. You can use probably the word because to contrast. Okay, or because to give a reason, okay, try to, to stretch your answer a little bit more, please. The answer is correct, perfect, but give me more information, please. Let's continue. Thank you, lady. Let's go back, please, another volunteer. Another volunteer, please. Who wants to participate? No one? Kevin. Perfect. Kevin, please. Pick a number. Number five. Number five. Okay. Let me see. Oh, come on. It's a question. Please, Kevin, read it. What is sometimes you are thinking of going this year? Correct. Please, once again, pencil, sus lápices o bolígrafos, la estructura thinking of. As you can see, this structure thinking of, I M G. Okay, I M G. Kevin, listen to me. Use the structure thinking of with a verb with the ing. For example, you may say, I am thinking of buying a new car. Or, I am thinking of meeting a famous person next year. Okay? So, I am thinking of meeting, thinking of going, thinking of playing, okay? So this is structure with ing. Esta estructura trabaja con verbos 
utilizando o añadiendo el IMG. Kevin, 10 segundos. Prepare your answer. Ok, ok, teacher. I Go am, ahead. I am thinking of traveling to Mexico on vacation. Perfecto. Pero dame más, dame más información, por favor. De eso yo necesito. Está perfecto. I am thinking of traveling to Mexico the next year because I want to see... Uh, Because I want to try Mexican food because I would like to see the culture or something else, ¿ok? But try to stretch. Intentemos estirar más la información. Dicen, obviamente, dice la, la, la respuesta está bien, ¿ok? Entendiste correctamente que la estructura thinking of si viene otro verbo, le voy a añadir el ING. Perfecto. Estoy pensando en viajar a México el próximo año porque me gustaría conocer su cultura. ¿Por qué? Entonces comienzas a jugar. Porque yo quiero esto. ¿Ok? The answer was correct. But please, give me more information. That's the point. Thank you, Kevin. Another volunteer. Please practice. Okay, Mario Tumbaco. Please pick a number. Uh, number uh, seven. Seven. Okay. There, there, there. Vamos a ver si es reto. There, there. Seven is. Ah. Oh. Is a question. I can't believe it. Okay, Mario, read the question, please. What do you have to do tonight? Okay, can, can, can you repeat, please? What do you have to do tonight? Okay, perfect. Well, as you can see, we have another structure. You see this structure is hope. Hope is like an expectation. It's something that you want to do in the future. Hope is esperanza. It's like an expectation. La estructura, the structure of this word, hope, we use with infinitive. Okay? So you can say, I hope to. For example, you may say, I hope to study English. I hope to go. I hope to eat. And so on. Okay? Please, Mario, try to give me more information. Yeah, okay. 10 seconds. Okay. 10 segundos. Prepare your answer. Yeah, teacher. Okay, go ahead. I hope tonight to make my snack and watch TV or a movie. Okay, can you repeat again, please? Le repito. Yes, please, please. I hope tonight to make my snack and watch TV or a movie. Okay, correct. That's it, okay? okay. But if you're talking about the movie, why don't you say the name? of the movie the name of the movie for example you say i hope tonight to make a sandwich to watch a movie that's correct but probably you may include the name of the movie okay you can also say it with another person you will say i watch uh, a movie with my family uh in the evening Because this movie and so on, right? To give a little bit more information, but that was perfect. Okay? okay. Podemos incluir el título, con quién lo vas a ver, en qué horario, de pronto, inclusive hasta en qué plataforma. But it was good, Mario. Thank you. 
I'm sorry for my boys. I still have problem with my throat throat. Okay, come on, another volunteer, please. Samuel, please, pick a number. Number 21. 21. There, there. Vamos a ver. Un desafío, no sale desafío. Okay, Samuel, 21. And the 21 is... Ah, it's a question. Please, read, Samuel. What do you hate doing? Correct. Okay, Samuel. Please pay attention. Tenemos otra estructura aquí que es hate. Hate is with ing. Hate, you know, means odiar, right? Cuando trabajas con un verbo con esta palabra hate, vas a explicarlo con el ing. Por ejemplo, odio limpiar. I hate cleaning. Okay? Odio cocinar. I hate cooking. But, please, Samuel, I know you can do it. Try to give me more information. I stressed your answer. Ten seconds. Prepare your answer. Ten seconds. What do you hate, Johnny? Five seconds. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I hate when they send me to buy a uh, at the store because I have to wait my turn. Okay, that's good. But yeah. the the point in here, Samuel, is correct. The answer was good, but avoid using the same verb in the same sentence. Okay, you you say I hate in the part number one. And then once again you repeat I hate in I hate. Okay. Okay, dos veces. No, puedes correcto, puedes utilizar el punto aquí es utilizar hate. La estructura hate trabaja con el ing, okay? Entonces, la otra parte, tu razón darla con otro. Entonces, porque no me gusta because I don't like. But don't like. try okay. correct. The, the point is not to repeat I hate because I hate to repeat again. Okay, so you start with I hate, I hate cooking in the morning because I don't like take a shower again, as an example. But that's correct, thank you. Thanks, Mr. Let's go back, another student. I can't believe it, se está salvando, por qué no sale un desafío? Diana, please, pick a number. Number four. Number four. Four. Okay, there. I need a there. Four and... Yes! Finally! Read, please, read. Diana, come on, read, read. Demonstrate your best dancing. Yes, oh. yes. <laughs> Let me stop. Okay, este es el desafío. Come on, you have to do it. Please give a minute. Okay. Okay, Diana, please start your camera and show me your style. Show me your flow. Come on, Diana, do it. Okay. Dance, if you want, you want to dance like this. Okay. Do it. Demonstrate your style. Okay, so put on some music. Put on some music. Put on some music. Come on. I do 
Okay, you can dance, sit, okay? You are sitting, no problem, but put on some music. I know. <laughs> yeah, okay. Put on some music. Okay? I'm wait, I'm wait. Yes, Mario, come on, Diana, you can. Okay, okay, no problem. Puede ser cualquier música, ¿verdad? Yes, no problem. Do it, do it. Demonstrate yeah. your best dancing. No, I'm sorry, nothing. Okay, no, no problem. Show, show, show me your dance, okay? Start dancing, start dancing, okay? Okay, do it, come on! <laughs> okay, good. Thank you, Diana. Congratulations, you did it. Okay, thank you. Wow, that was fantastic. Okay, you love working with little kids, right? You love working with little kids. That's fantastic. I have a daughter. She loves that music. Wow, amazing. Thank you, Diana. Excellent. Let's go back. Please, another volunteer. Come on, guys, participate. Please, another volunteer. Okay, Miss Pluas, Janela, please pick a number. Number 19. Okay, there, 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 19. Let me see. And the number 19, we have. Yes, it's a there. Very good. Please read, read you there. Size 10 verbs in the past and the past participle. Okay, so please. 10 verbs. Pass and pass participle. Okay, Miss Bluas? Ten seconds. Tengo que decir diez verbos, ¿verdad? Yes. And pass come, and pass. Mm -hmm. Come and come. Fill and fill. Say and say. Take and second. Is we and is want. I understand or you understand. Seven, three more. We now want two mm. more. Nos faltan dos, ¿verdad? Yes. Mm. Write and um, write. One. Mm. <laughs> uh, fling and found. Okay, perfect. Okay. Miss Blue, please, I need you to study more English verbs, okay? Most of them were not correct. The first, I, I think the verb number one, two, three, up to the number four was correct. Because they were regular verbs, you say, um, you say close, cl 
closed field. Field. Well, that's correct. Let me stop. Let me go back. Okay, I'm gonna pick up another student to participate with me. Let me see. Okay, Maida Mora, can you hear me? Uh, nine. Number? Number nine. Okay, there, there, there. Don't worry, that's a feel. Yo quiero desafío, Maida. No sale, desafío. Let's see the number nine. Yes, very good. Okay, Maida, read please. <laughs> okay. Uh, match the soul of green animal. Okay, so prepare your answer. Ten seconds. Don't, don't translate. Don't translate. Just do it. Yeah. Ten seconds. Tienes diez segundos. Prepare. You have to tell me the name of the animal. For example, you say an owl. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's an owl. Okay? You give me the name of the three animals. Ten seconds. Okay, Maida, go ahead. Uh, dog. Mm -hmm. Wow. 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 Good. Another one. Cat. Meow, meow. Okay. Chicken. Pio, pio. Good. Excellent, Maida. Good. Thank you. Fantastic. Let's continue. Let's continue. There's no more volunteers. I'm going to pick up another one. Let me see. Brian Galarza. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Okay. Please pick a number. 21 21 is already taken pick another one 22 and the 22 is oh it's a question come on read it please and what will you never start doing? Okay, that's it. Remember, this is future, but the structure is stop. Esta palabra stop trabaja con ing. Okay, I will never stop learning English because I want to be a good teacher for my student you hear that I will never stop learning I will never stop working I will never stop um, running and so on so remember the word stop with the IMG you have 10 seconds prepare your answer Okay, go ahead, mister. Speak. Um, I will never start uh, visiting my family. Yeah, that's correct, but expandelo. ¿Por qué no vas a parar de hacer eso? Expandelo, okay? Necesito eso, que expandas. Okay? Jesus Christ, that's, that, that's correct, but please, dear students, I need to to give me more information thinking okay. your family okay vamos Brian go ahead and um, when I 
will never stop visiting my family because they are very important to me and they supporting me in everything. Okay, that's that's the point. Correct, Brian. Yes, that's the point. Muy bien. Entonces, estimados estudiantes, esta otra estructura, creo que la vayan copiando. Stop. Trabaja con el verbo de acción, pero el verbo de acción que dijo Brian, que es visit, tenemos que añadirle, ok, el ing. I will never stop doing exercises. I will never stop learning English. I will never stop swimming. I will never stop drinking and so on, right? But the structure, stop and the verb with the ing. Aurora, do you want to For participate? Example. Okay, let's... Yo hice, yo hice así, este... Okay, tell me. Yo voy siguiendo la, como usted va explicando. Mire mm -hmm. si, no, si está bien la oración. Okay. I will never stop dying is drinking coffee every day for breakfast. Okay, that, that, that's good. Pero, cámbiale por favor el doing for making. Make coffee, okay? I will never stop making coffee in the morning. En inglés tenemos orar a dos verbos que significan lo mismo. Do y el verbo make. Make. Okay? Yeah. So, the make you point ing. That was correct, Aurora. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Entonces, esta estructura, Aurora, como lo acabas de decir, vas a, a, vas a añadirle al verbo que ejecuta la acción el ing. Porque esa es la regla de, de inglés. Cuando utilizamos stop, el verbo que viene o el verbo de acción tiene que ir con ing. Ok? Por eso es cuando decimos, deja de hablar, es stop talking. Stop talking. Is ing. Ok? Perfect. Let's go back. Another volunteer. No? My voluntarios. Oh! Diana Mora. Please, pick a number. 20. 20. Damn, damn, damn. Vamos a ver. And yes. Please, read. Diana, please, read. May ten vegetable in ten second. Okay, so prepare your answer. Thirty vegetables in thirty seconds. Ten vegetables in thirty seconds. Prepare it. segundos. Uh, onion. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Carrot. Stop, stop, Diana. Let me get the stopwatch. Okay, give a minute. Stopwatch. 30, you have 10 sec, 30 seconds, okay? Okay, Diana. One, two, start. Onion, beet, uh, cauliflower, pepper, beet, potato, or tomato, celery, cucumber. Okay. Wow. Excellent. Okay. Remember, it's cucumber. Cucumber. The other one was good. Excellent. Wow. This is it. I don't, I, I don't like this one. Amazing. Thank you, Diana. Good job. Another volunteer, come on. Two, two more volunteers, two more, two more volunteers. It's gonna be pretty difficult for me to spend, or oh, yeah, to waste, in quotation mark, obviously, the time here. It's gonna be pretty difficult. Mr. Carlos, please, pick a number. Okay, there, there, 18, 18, let me see. And, yes, yes. Yes, finally! Prepare, please, Mr. Carla. Please, read. Uh, 
okay? You have 10 seconds. Prepare. 10 seconds, Mr. Cotta. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. One, two, three. Come on, start singing. There must be something in the world. Every day is getting colder. And if only I can hold you. There must be sand. There must be sand. Uh, I forgot it. <laughs> okay, Carlos, no problem. Amazing. Thank you. Fantastic. Okay. One more, students. No problem. Thank you. I do appreciate your participation, students. That's the point of this activity. Let's go back. Okay. One more. One more. Please, a volunteer. One more volunteer. Come on. No? Okay. You're gonna pick up. Let me see. Oh, this one. Miss Andrea Segura. You are the last student. Can you hear me? Número, yes, give a number. Number 11. Okay, there, 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 there. And, oh, it's a question. Please, read. What do you want to do in coming read? Okay, now listen to me, Andrea, and everyone. Here we have another structure with the word want. This word with the infinitive of a verb in present. I want to. I want to go. I want to eat. I want to. Uh, I want to buy. I want to drink. Okay. This is structure with infinitive with two. The question is basically about something in the future. The last word break. Well, this is for in quotation mark, but be considered like um, like a day off or days off, like a holidays, okay? Entonces, Andrea, esa palabra break es como descanso, días libres. What do you want to do this coming break? You have 10 seconds, Andrea. Prepare your answer. Yes. Eh, prepara, prepara. Tienes 10 segundos, Andrea. Prepara. Ok. Ok. Go ahead. Andrea, don't go, stay with me. I, I, I would like to be self, self, and travel on me, me vacation. Okay. With, with my family, Mm -hmm. And my baby in short, beautiful moments. Yes, perfect. Un solo detalle, este, Andrea. Al inicio estuvo bien, pero me ubicaste dos verbos de estado. El verbo querer y el verbo gustar es un poco decir I want to like, quiero gustar, ¿ok? Comúnmente okay. estos verbos want ejecutan 
otro verbo. El otro verbo que va a venir después de la palabra to tiene que ser un verbo de acción. Cuando me refiero a verbo de acción es que tiene implícito un movimiento. Por ejemplo, quiero visitar, I want to visit. Quiero conocer, I want to meet. Quiero ver, I want to see. ¿Ok? Like son verbos de estado, tanto como hope, need, uh, like, no tiene pues, no, no es un verbo de acción, es gustar, o sea, es un verbo de estado. But the other one, la explicación que me diste después fue muy buena, ¿ok? Dando soporte a tu idea. That was correct. Thank you. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahora? Thank you, Andrea. Quiero que por favor, you pencil, ¿ok? And in a piece of paper, o... Oh, Something to write on. Let me share my screen because this is pretty important. Okay. Let me share this. Estas estructuras yo necesito que las copien, por favor. Porque las vamos a necesitar para lo que se viene la próxima semana. Entonces, lo que usted va a hacer en este momento es en su cuaderno. Ok, aquí. Necesito que trace líneas, ok. Trace two or draw two lines in a T, ok. Una forma de T, más o menos en contabilidad, ¿verdad? Que hacen un T de ingresos y egresos. Entonces, en una columna me vas a escribir arriba, ok. Gerunds, gerundios. ¿Qué, ¿Cuál de estas estructuras trabajan con gerundios? Gerunds. Quiere decir ING. En la otra columna me vas a escribir donde dice infinitive. Infinitive quiere decir la palabra to. ¿Ok? Trace por favor las líneas. ¿Ok? Recuerda, en la columna número uno, como título, le ponen Jared. Gerundios. ¿Ok? And the other one, infinitive, que se refiere al to. Vamos con esta primera palabra que es avoid. Lo que usted ve ahí, avoid significa evitar. Esta palabra ejecuta otro verbo, otro verbo de acción. Pero ese verbo de acción tiene que ir con el ING. Entonces, avoid, por favor, colóquela en la primera columna. ¿Ok? I avoid, I avoid cooking. I avoid studying. I avoid learning. Or something else, ¿ok? Avoid in the column number one. This one. ¿Ok? This one in here. I'm sorry. This one in here is, okay, wait a minute, enjoy. Enjoy is another structure with the ING. Enjoy significa disfrutar. Esta estructura también va a modificar o ejecuta un verbo de acción. El verbo de acción también tiene que ir con ING. Por ejemplo, disfruto escuchar música. I enjoy listening to music. Disfruto bailar. I enjoy dancing. Disfruto aprender. I enjoy learning. Ok. So this structure enjoy en la primera columna. Gerundios. Let's continue. Ok. This one. Thinking of. Pensar en. Ok. Aquí vamos con el verbo to be. So we said. I am thinking of. Estoy pensando en. I am thinking of. This one is again in la columna with the ing column. For example, you may say, I'm thinking of leaving Ecuador or I'm thinking of uh, starting a new business. So thinking of with the ing column. Siguiente estructura. I plan to. I plan to start a new business. 
ok? Esta estructura va a ir en la segunda columna, ok? Plant, porque trabaja con infinitivos. Esa palabra que ve con rojo va a trabajar con infinitivos. Ok, so you can buy action verbs with the word plant. Please, give a minute. Ok, dear students, I'm sorry, that was my daughter. Ok, tenemos esta palabra plan, esta la vamos a ubicar en la segunda columna. Trabaja con infinitivo, planear. El verbo que venga después de esta, trabaja con infinitivo, quiere decir con to. Planeo ir, I plan to go. Planeo comprar, I plan to buy. And so on, infinitive. Ok, let's continue. Vamos con el siguiente que es started o start. Eso también va en la columna de plan. Ok, yeah, start to. Esto tiene algo en especial, ok. Pero en el momento vamos a aprenderla con infinitive, ok. I start, ok. I want to start o I start with infinitive. Vamos a la segunda columna con start to, start to. Ok, Jesus, we're wasting too much time. This one, esto nosotros ya la vimos en el tercer nivel. Es la estructura would like, me gustaría. Esta estructura también va a ir en la segunda columna. Trabaja con infinitivos. Me gustaría ir. I would like to go. Ok, me gustaría uh, pasear. I would like to go. For a walk, me gustaría, um, let me think another word, <coughs> me gustaría enseñar, so you say, I would like to teach, and so on, okay? This would lie in the column number two, with infinitive. Next one, una muy conocida que es el verbo querer, want to, también en infinitivo, I want to go, quiero ir, I want to go, okay? Quiero ver televisión. I want to watch TV. So this structure is an infinitive. Want to. Okay, let me see. This one. This is another structure. Can't stand. Esta estructura va en la primera. Okay, esta funciona con verbos y a los verbos de acción le vamos a añadir el ing. Can't stand significa no soportar o no tolerar. De pronto, quizás algunos de ustedes digan, no, no tolero o no soporto cocinar. So you say, I can't stand cooking. O you say, I can't stand um, waking up early on Saturdays. So can't stand. ING for. Next one. Love. In the same way, conduct number one. De la misma forma, columna uno. El verbo amar, que es un verbo de estado, porque no representa acción. I love. Este de aquí, vamos a aprender lo que va a trabajar con el ing. ¿Ok? <coughs> Adoro cocinar, pues vamos a hacer lo contrario. Usted diría, usted puede decir, I love cooking. I love dancing, I love writing, I love drawing, and so on. Next one, the verb forget. This is the past forgot. Forgot is an infinitive. 
Correct, es en infinitivo Olvidar I forgot Oh, olvidé apagar las luces I forgot to turn off the light Forgot to Olvidar I forgot to turn off the light Olvidé enviarte el mensaje Mil disculpas I'm so sorry I forgot to send the message Forgot Next one Aquí hay otra con el verbo to be Ok Que es I'm afraid of I am afraid of Tener miedo de I am afraid of Ok Tengo miedo de conducir I am afraid of Driving a car Como usted puede escuchar o ver en el subtítulo pues Esta estructura va en el gerundio Después de esta estructura, el verbo de la acción Tenemos que aumentarle el ING I am afraid of driving a car Next one Like El verbo gustar Este también con ING Me gusta I like Si viene un verbo Al verbo de acción ING me gusta correr por las mañanas. I like running in the morning. Me gusta nadar en el río. I like swimming in the river. So, like with ing. Next one. Okay. Hope. Hope is like expectation. Something that you want Present infinitive. infinitive, correcto, es infinitivo. Va a trabajar con la palabra to. I hope to. Ok, espero. Hope es como esperar. Una expectativa. I hope to. Y viene el verbo de acción, pero en infinitivo. Recuerda que infinitivo es anteponer la palabra to delante del verbo de la acción. I hope to go. Ok, I hope. I hope you to get well soon And so on Infinitive This one Stop Ya lo vimos hace un momento Stop Esto, el verbo de la acción es ING Gerundio Gerundio, ING El verbo que venga después El verbo de acción, obviamente Le aumentamos el ING Ok I will never stop I will never stop learning, I will never stop singing, I will never stop studying. So, the ing, the suffix um, in the action verb. Siguiente, hate, el verbo odiar, hate. Correcto, también va a trabajar con verbos con ing, verbos de acción. Odio, ok, I hate, odio trabajar los domingos. I hate working on some days. Working. ING. Working. Okay, and the last one. This is another structure that is said can wait. Infinitive. Infinitive, correct. So this says I can wait. Okay, give a minute. Something's wrong here. It's like, no puedo esperar, es como una especie como de ansias, no puedo esperar, I can wait to see you, I can wait to buy, I can wait to learn, okay? So, these is are the basic structures, that's it. Entonces, esto que hemos visto son estructuras básicas, existen muchas más, pero son las que comúnmente podemos utilizar para este nivel, tenemos que aprender, aquí no hay reglas. Tenemos que aprender cuál de estas están con gerundio y cuál de estas van en infinitive. ¿Ok? Estos, estas estructuras que estaban con rojo, pues, se las denomina verbos de estado. No tienen ningún tipo de acción. Amar, gustar, odiar, adorar, miedo, pues, no representan ningún tipo de acción. 
esto se tiene que complementar con un verbo de acción a los verbos de acción se les denomina pues aquellos verbos que uh, tienen implícito un movimiento el verbo correr, run, jugar, movimiento, cantar. jugar, cantar, correcto entonces usted tiene que aprender que si quiere decir yo disfruto, I enjoy, inmediatamente, enjoy va con ing ok, yo disfruto cantar, I enjoy singing so that is correct, no puede decir I enjoy to sing because that is incorrect, I enjoy singing pero sí puede decir me gustaría cantar con infinitivo I would like to sing that is different okay so I need to practice a lot is quite important is pretty essential to understand this okay please give a minute I think just said we need to keep on working something else Ok, en esta media hora entonces vamos a trabajar, please. Ah, oh, Jesus, where are you? Ok, it's time to practice. Remember, yesterday we have a task that we didn't carry it out due to the lack of time. Today we can do it. So, dear students, you're going to work in, in, in groups. Ok, L let me check how many students. Ok, 68 students. I'm not good at mathematics, so I need a calculator. So 68 divided by, uh, let me see, three students. Okay, so 20. Good. Let me share again. There you go. Okay, so again, This is what we practiced yesterday. So today, dear students, you're gonna work in group. Three students per group. Activity number one, you have to try to figure it out. What are the missing words? To complete, obviously, you have to write the complete paragraph. You need to try to figure it out, the missing words. The next activity is to describe one of this picture. Only one. When you describe the picture, you must include preposition to say where things are, use there is or they are. The present continues to describe the picture of the image. Use the verb look he looks like he's seen it it's uh, i'm sorry it's look like or they look the adverse perhaps and maybe and don't forget use the preposition of the bottom of the photo on the right on the left in the middle in the background and this is the last activity you have to Find where the mistakes are. Spot the mistake and correct them. That's it. For this activity, you will have 30 minutes. Okay. I'm gonna share the link. Please give a minute. Uh, no, Miss Delgado, no necesitas enviar nada. Lo que tú tomaste de apuntes de verbos o de estructuras o de verbos de estados que trabajan con ING o infinitive es para ti. La próxima semana yo les voy a ir mostrando de a poco cuándo utilizarlo. 
que vamos a trabajar otra actividad, una prueba de speaking. Esta vez un poco más compleja. Ok, ahí está el link, por favor, descarguen la actividad. Remember, you have 30 minutes to complete this task. Ok. Esto lo tenemos que mandar a su correo. Este... Correcto, Miss. Exactamente. Recuerda que son tres actividades. Completar the missing words, describir y encontrar los errores. Ok. Do it, please. 30 minutes. Ingrese, por favor. Licenciado, disculpe, es que se me salió de la sala. ¿Me puede ver la 17 que está? Claro, 17, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Qué sala estaba, este, mi Juan Perdón. Cuando no, 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 Buenas noches, mister. Disculpe, lo que pasa es que tenía un poco inestable mi internet. Listo, me quintero, lo voy a ubicar en la sala 19. Ya, yeah, listo.
Señor Brito, ¿qué sal estaba? Dayana, ¿qué sala estabas? En la sala 11.
Miss Mora. Mister, este, estaba en la sala 11. Mi sueta. Polina, ¿en qué, ¿en qué grupo estaba? No, yo recién volví a ingresar porque el internet me, me botó de la clase hace rato. No entiendo.
No podemos retirarme esto. Yes, sure, no problem. Please do not forget to send the assignment to my email. Okay. Thank you very much, dear students, and I'll see you tomorrow. By the way, tomorrow, remember, just one single hour. Para el día de mañana, simplemente una hora. Recuerden. Y la otra, por favor, me colaboran para sus compañeros que tienen que dar la prueba oh, pendiente. Ok, see you. Ok, recuerden por favor, el día de mañana tenemos que recuperar el día que no pude estar aquí, pero una hora. Me colaboran por favor la hora restante para sus compañeros que tienen que dar la prueba pendiente. Ok, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Disculpe. Sí. O sea, la hora que no puedo recuperar que se queda la de... Y la otra hora para... No, de 7 a 8. A la de nosotros de 8. Correcto. De 6 a 7 le va a tomar a los No, no, de 6 a 7 una hora de clases. Y de 7 a 8 para ustedes o los demás compañeros que hacen falta todavía tomar la prueba de speaking que quedaron pendientes. Por eso, por eso lo que le decía. Sí. O sea, nosotros. Y la del viernes. Por eso, la del día viernes, correcto. Y, y, y lo del lunes. En el number one tenemos que reagendar. Ya vamos a ver cómo ah, ya, hacemos, ya. ¿sí? Ya, ok, eso. thank you. Goodbye. Sí. Mañana sí. tenemos clases. Una hora. Recuerde que no tuvimos clases el miércoles el o el martes, no recuerdo muy bien. Sí. 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 Sí